Well, when it comes to the use of computer, it is very important that you know how it works. Granted, not all of us need to be engineers in order to study in depth on how it works. But with the help of this tutorial, we are going to bring it to your doorstep to understand how your PC works. And we are focused attention on laptops because laptops become so common. Nearly all of us have laptop. You can go to any house nowadays that you not see one or two and so on. So what do you need to know? So we are going to teach you many things you need to know before actually purchasing one. If you have purchased one, what do you need to do to protect it and what could make it last longer and what are the dangers that could actually endanger your computer and make it to stop working. So what do you need to know is in here with you. So at once subscribe, like and share this video as we go into these steps. But then you have to decide on what size best suits what I want. Do you want something like 13.5 inches? Do you want 15.6? Or do you really need 10.1? So these are actually refers to as the size of the screen. So these are determined by the screen. After choosing the size, you will also ask yourself, what am I going to use the computer for? Well, to some persons, they could use it for graphics. Some use it for programming. Some use it for normal official typing work. Others could use it for purpose rather than what we know. And others could use it for game. Well, let's discuss a little about game. There are some computers that if you use game, some of the games on, it will actually destroy the computer. Are you aware of that? So sometimes you may have an issue with your computer. You take it to the technician after fixing a lot of time. Again, it develops an error or maybe worse than that. You must know what type of a computer motherboard can actually house some of the games we are using. So these are many more what we are going to learn in this tutorial. So now let's get it done. Understanding how computer works is also very important for its users. So we are going to discuss how about some of its components and stay down to the end of the tutorial so that you can learn a whole lot from it. So we have several products, for example, we have Toshiba, we have Dell, we have Elsa products, we have HP, and many more. You can keep counting. So these are some of the commonly used laptops that you may see in the market. So before purchasing one, there are, there are so many factors that may determine what we go, one of which is the cost of the computer. Now these computers become very expensive for many and the purchasing power may not always be there. However, before deciding what to buy, based on what you have, this training will actually help you to know exactly what you need to do. So some persons often call to ask, which of the computers do I go for? Do I go for HP, Dell, Toshiba, and the rest of the ones? Well, such questions could be very difficult. Those of you who are engineers will understand this. Take for example, if we are talking about a product by name, each of the products have the high standard and a lower one. So by the time you settle for the name and end up purchasing the inferior of that product, it becomes useless. That will not be the right thing to do. You must first understand the quality of the motherboard. Well, the motherboard I'm going to show you in a brief. To, I'm going to show you very soon. So you will understand what type of motherboard does it use. You will understand the processor speed. You will also need to understand the RAM size. It is also very important that after understanding all this, you must also think of the storage capacity. The second storage capacity, which is the HDD audio, often refers to as hard disk. These are very important to know when you're actually deciding on what to buy. So it will be also wise for you to know the problem that is associated with a particular product of a system. Well, this may be difficult for non-engineers, so sometimes it may be very wise to consult an engineer before deciding on which to purchase. So when you do that, it may be of help to you. All right, to move further, we are going to open one of these 
and see exactly what we have inside its components and how it works. We are going to explain major components in it and how it actually works. First and foremost, it's expected that you get off the battery. There's a battery, so you have to remove that. To remove it, you will have to press this and this to get it out. So this is the battery. Mostly used battery are the one that also used by our power banks. Many of us have power banks that we use to power our, our phones away from light. So same batteries are often used for the laptop. In most cases, there are quality batteries in here that could charge. And when out of electricity, it can be used to power your computer. Over here is where we have the DVD ROM or DVD writer. Case may be. We need to remove it. I've already unscrewed. This is the screw for it. I will just remove it. I'm getting it out of it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open the system. So after you have removed all the screw, you can then open the back part of it or the sitting part of your computer. In most cases, this is what you get after removing that. Well, what we have here happened to be the hard disk, the, stor the storage device. This is where the information you are working with are actually stored. Okay? Whether you are watching film, this is where it's retrieved from the secondary storage device. And whether you are typing a word, whatever you save on your computer, it comes in here to this device. I'm going to remove it. To remove it, if there is any screw attached to it, quickly unscrew and after which you can easily pull it out. I'm going to unscrew. So while unscrewing, you must make sure that the screwdriver is the one that fits in totally with the screw to which you are to use. After which, gently get the hard disk and remove it. Gently. Well, in our other tutorial, we are going to discuss at length what is here. And we are going to even open inside so you could understand better. We are going to show you what you can do even when your hard disk stop working. We will discuss that on, uh, on our next tutorial. Hopefully, you will subscribe to learn. So what more do we have here? In this segment, we have the speaker. When you hear a sound from a laptop, this is where the speaker Ah, uh, We have two speakers here in most cases. They are always paid. So if, if they are faulty, you could get it replaced. Apart from that, <clears throat> we also have different cables and different things. The flat board here, what we have here, that is referred to as motherboard. The motherboard actually house everything. That means each of the components that comes to the computer must be attached to the motherboard in one way or the other. It could be attached through cable or it could have direct contact to the motherboard. Because all this to work together, it must have direct contact to the motherboard. Over here, is where you have the processor. In this case, it's actually here inside there, a little device that actually processes things. At the ending here, we have both the fan in here and the heat zinc. That means what gets out the heat from your computer and take in fresh one in order to keep the computer going. Well, what do we have here is called RAM. Many of you have heard about RAM. RAM or random access memory. This is the primary storage. That means when you work on your computer, this is where the information are housed temporarily so that it can easily be released, take in, take out, and so on. Well, we have not mentioned to you that in this have this as earlier mentions the informations here are kept in a magnetic form and what we have in here are all binaries oh, well in our subsequent tutorial on this part we are going to discuss at length 
So as earlier mentioned, this is RAM. You just need to fix it back. To fix it back, follow exactly the way it was removed and place it back. Well, it is simple. When you have it placed at the exact position, when they are, then you need to press it in. That's all. All right, so that is RAM. Well, this is where, the, at this point is where the battery, this battery has its contact with your computer. So you can see it here. That is where it has contact with the computer. And that is when he power the computer when you are away from the electricity. So that is why we have removed that first so that it will not continue conducting the board while we are opening. This actually bring in information to your hard drive. This is what transfer data both in and out from hard disk drive. All right. So over here we have wireless card. This refers to as wireless card. Obviously, you may need to know that in order for you to have a wireless network, there must be a card in it. So that is what controls that and allowed wireless allowed network to come into your computer. So if you are having a problem, a hardware problem with the in relation to the network, sometimes this is replaced in order to solve the problem. Over here, we have different USBs. We have different USB. This last one is the HDMI. Whereas this is where we plug our LAN cable to. And in our subsequent tutorial, we'll learn more about how LAN cables work and what you need to know. Well, another important component that you must always take note of is this run item. This is called CMOS battery. CMOS battery. Well, as earlier mentioned in our previous tutorial, CMOS battery actually kept uh, the information, the basic information that can allow your system to boot through anytime you do so. So CMOS battery keep information in relation to your BIOS setup and also keep time and dates of your computer. So sometimes if you notice that your computer date and time is always late, even when you set it and when you set it to the right region and everything, and always go back anytime you restart your computer, then you need to replace this little thing, the CMOS battery. It's actually not expensive. It's something that you can do. Well, over here, we have this cable. This is the keyboard. This keyboard, this is the cable that controls it. All right? So the keyboard, when it stops working, or maybe it's not recognized, you may need to get to know more about how this can be fixed through here. And if you have to replace, how to replace. Although, in some of this, you may need to consult your engineer or your technician who can do so for you. Over here, we have the screen. Of course, the screen are of types. We have the one that is model. Of course, those are basically old ones. We have modulus. Of course, we have paper screen and many more. So your technician will be in good place in telling you exact screen you are using because they do divide. tuned as we come. Subscribe, like, and share this video and help others too to learn what you have enjoyed. Or you can visit us at our website at mydancomputertrainingchannel.com so that you can benefit much more from our numerous tutorials. Thanks so much. Hope to see you in our next tutorial.